Salutations, my friends, and welcome back to TNO, The Last Days of Europe, in which we're playing as that beautiful Tomsk, or also known as the Central Siberian Republic. Uh, last time we made sure that we won in the elections, but let us continue now with a new national focus. A relentless push forward. So far, the humanist government has done all that it can in promoting the cause of the war against illiteracy. In this aspect, they've done what is expected of a good governance and ethical inte integrity. The government has fulfilled what it had promised during the campaign season of the last election, but Shostakovich means taking it a step further. Amid warlord Russia, there's a need not just for prudent and necessary measures, but also for revolutionary deeds. This is precisely where the humanists have decided to go. In the middle of chaos, the city shall provide the eye of the stole. In the middle of illiteracy and stupidity, the city shall provide shelter and education. To all the peoples of Russia, whether they're citizens or not, shall know peace and security within the boundaries of the Republic. More schools, universities, for every worker a degree, and for every worker a place to earn, or at least learn, more. Well, every worker de a degree? Does that, doesn't that, like, water down degrees then? If everyone has a degree, then do they really mean anything? Maybe. Oh, no! They refuse tribute. Uh, as expected, the Siberian Black Army has told us that they reject our offer and are ready for battle, we must be prepared to fight them. Uh, I didn't realize I was doing these guys again. Uh, at last, bloodshed is sometimes unavoidable, and we must prepare for what is to come. If they're going to co cooperate, it's time that we take the loot from the Siberian Black Army by force. Uh, updates, the border war, combat with 20. If uh, that's the case, I'm going to get our guys over here first since we have some time. The Yasuda Crisis, what falls faster, a man or his shares? Hope you're having a good day, guys. Uh, right now, we just got this done as well. 56, let's do that. And I have a cat right now scratching at my door. P my apologies, give me one second. My apologies, it was just... I don't like it when cats be scratching my door. that Or the carpet underneath the door. Anyways, uh, we got a couple comments to get through. And, which includes... Don't worry too much about worker discontent. Like last time, we... Ooh. Well, we can do a support, support in the lower house. Decreases authority. Which we basically have to do. But we get more salon popularity, which we have to do. So we'll do this one, and we'll get some more uh, pro-humanist campaign. So now we're... Wow, that's... Oh my gosh. 19.7, that's pretty gosh darn low. That is not ideal. But we really need as much popularity as possible here. At least in my mind, we do. Uh, so yeah, so we lo we'll lower our, lower our authority first, and then when it gets removed, we get way more support there. And we got eight days left. I still want to get more organization for our guys first, because that'll be good. Uh, yeah, but uh, like I was trying to say, worker discontent. Don't worry about it too much. We want to get as many buffs as possible to our Siberian plan, which would come out to be very, very good for us. We could get more stability, but I need more political power. And I don't want to lower that now. I could lower stability to get more political power. Point plus, point 0.5 a day is not bad. If you do both of these at the same time, if you had 50, you get plus point 0.5, minus point 0.2. So basically, you don't lose stability. All you get if you do both is point 0.3 every day. Which is, eh, not bad, but, hmm. I don't need to do military expansion for now. And then we'll do pro-humanist ca campaign. So we always want to make sure we have at least 60 in the next couple months. Three days. Let it go on just a bit longer. Three, two, good enough. Go and do that. Border war. Border war time! Very cool. That's so sad. Ah, uh, looks like we're winning, yes. The stupid black army of, of Siberia cannot withstand our forces. The raid has been successful. Uh, our reports have returned. Our men hurry home with trucks filled with loot and blood smeared over their hands. They congratulate each other for the successful raid against an unsuspecting enemy, painting or patting their comrades on the back and taking the last few shots at the survivors scurrying away. We proclaim victory in the skirmish as our men cheer and whistle in the hysteria of war, eager to present to us the treasures they've seized and prize from the grips of our adversaries. Yes, treasure. Yar. There be a lot of treasure that we can take from our enemies. Cool. Uh, let's see. Come back over here, and I'm not sure who we're going to do next, but we're going to probably do you guys. I don't know. We'll see what happens. Cool. Let time go on a little bit so we get our focuses done. And talk about a few more things. Train new workers. Great, great, great. We have one loot currently. Treasure! Our men have crushed the enemy and uprooted the land of everything of use to our raiding parties. In the chaos and hysteria of the violence, some of our men have used smashed through the locks of a warehouse and stumbled across great treasures beyond our wildest dreams. Scrounging up the gold, precious metals, statues, and other remnants of Russia's past, dragging these relics home brings this immense wealth, prestige, and nostalgia for a great time. Perhaps this, even in the violence and brutality of these skirmishes, is a sign of great times to come for our people. 75 political power! God dang! Oh my goodness! Ooh, that is that is some seriously nice stuff. Let's get some more loot, though, because we need that. All right, let's push forward, and we get even more political power. Oh, I love PP. Let's see. Ooh, more GDP cost, but that doesn't matter. Monthly poverty change, or poverty monthly change. Ooh, I like that. Ooh. We're really focusing on poverty here. More cost. Uh, let's see. Stability. Uh, we probably want to get stability. Greatly increases humans to popularity. That's pretty good. Increases consumer goods, but academic base. Research. 
Progress from the sky. Or from from safety? Why did I say sky? Progress from safety. Uh, I don't mind more icy. You lose some speed, but that's kind of okay. I'm going to go with getting stability. So, the rights of humanity. Since it's coming into power, King Farouk is dead. The standards of living for the average top citizen has decreased dramatically. However, it is... To say that it is rosy for everyone is an, is an exaggeration. If the bureaucracy in the cabinet would be frank, the rate of poverty in the city and its environs remain disappointing and outright heart-wrenching. Many still love the poverty line, and so far no governments have striven to provide the social or the primary social services to them. The government considers this a travesty. No human should being should live in these conditions without a home and stable source of food. The cabinet has a clear has cleared a budget for the expansion of affordable and cheap housing in the outskirts of the city. Once there, they will receive essential education and unemployment benefits to help them on their feet. The Humanist Association has faith in these feasible or feeble, destitute people. More more important than their rights as citizens are the rights as human beings, something the association is happy, more than happy, to give. Cool. Very cool. Alright, we I want to do that, but mm, this stuff is much more important. I see increases popularity in a random district. <sighs> yes, please. We need more popularity. But right now we're getting greatly increases human support in the lower house, while also increases popularity in a random district. I've got to lower the authority here as well, probably. Bastelards. So if we do this, it decreases, decreases our popularity a little bit, but I don't know. Um, decreases. No matter what we do, we're going to lower our authority anyways. Does authority matter too much? It seems like popularity is really the one that we really need to focus on. Hmm. You know what? I'm not going to do it. I'm just going to click on the humanist campaign and these two, because I want to save my political power for other things. You know, we'll see what happens. You know what? If In the next election, so a couple comments from yesterday included... That the next election, we don't have focuses to choose from to help boost our popularity, which we had last time. So we got to really make sure that we are going to be okay in the next election. So, I don't think authority really plays into it too much. Just popularity. So we really want to raise that up as much as possible. And we don't want to lower it. So I'm just going to focus on that a little bit, as well as do more of this. So, actually, what is the Siberian plan looking like right now? 20%, 0 0.2, 0 0.15, 0 0.001, and no negatives right now. Cool. Infrastructure would be cool, but nah. Or resource extraction infrastructure. Streamline focal facilities. Gain goes down. More output. Oh, that looks so nice. Uh, let's see. More IC. Basically, more output, more efficiency gain, but decrease that. Decrease industrial capacity. Or less output. So you get more consumer goods. Oh, I've got to do that. I've got to do that. More construction speed. You might as well. Cool. So we're 17 still. Not bad. Not bad at all, actually. I've still got 60 for this. So, once this is done, we have 22 or 29.9, which is nice. And right now, I can see that's a beer plan. Minus 27% consumer goods, 0.27 construction speed, 0.15. And all we did was basically get 0 0.01 minus, or minus 0 0.01 for output. That That is nice. I do have a cup of coffee here to keep us nice and warm, though, for right now. Ooh. Mm. Well, somewhat warm. Somewhat warm. Very good. Actually, so you have almost three full lines. You almost have th two and a half. We almost have three full lines, and these guys have... So we barely have the most support here. Let's go ahead and do a pro-humanist campaign. So we went from... Wait. Uh, for the other one, we lost authority, but did we really gain any more support? Increases humanist popularity and a... Random district. Hmm, we'll see what happens. I don't know. Regardless, we have the rights of humanity. <sighs> a free culture. From the times of the Union to the Central Siberian Republic, the artistic freedoms of the composers and writers throughout Russia were restricted for fear of political subversion and intrigue. Censorship boards proliferated in their offices, striving to distill art into something clinical, something acceptable to the ideas of the authoritarian ideologies, running contrary to the intention and definition of art itself. As a result, the varieties of artistic mediums that had survived and prospered outside of Russia do not have the equivalents here. Not even Tomsk could claim to reach the heights that others have attained in Russia's absence. It is not enough for culture to be merely be free. The censorship laws that remained in the book after the formation of the government and cabinet shall be struck out one by one. Culture must be in liberty for it to be active. After all, what defines Russia as a nation if not works that last beyond the lifetimes of puny mortals? Good point. Very good point. Uh, district map. 46.5. Never enough. Never enough. I swear to God, it'd never be enough. Let's see, it's 63. So more facts. Mac facts? I like facts. Some facts. Get more output for now. Mass production methods. Keep one on guns, keep one on normal infantry stuff, that'd be fine with me. Yeah, I just don't want to decrease our popularity. 
Like, that's probably the most important thing we need. Authority we might be able to decrease, but... Honestly, with the way it looks like... It probably doesn't matter too much, but we'll see what happens. And if I mess up, you won't see it, probably. So... It's okay. Uh, we could do this. Bonus for weapons, but we lose political power and stability. Eh, that's not really worth it. Rifles for... Rifles for political power, that's not bad. Yeah, that's really not bad at all. Army XP, it's not bad either. Uh, let's see, so we'll have this. Done very soon. Consumer goods, but lowers discontent. It, oh my goodness, I don't want to lower stability though. Worker discontent by 5, that's a bit too much for, for my mind. Production efficiency. Uh, so, you basically lose 5% production efficiency gain. Over here though, you can get it back. For 5%. So you lose 5% gain. If you do this one too, though, you get basically you get plus 2.5% and decrease maximum production efficiency by 5%, which you it's, which is offset by this. So if you do both of these, that's really 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 good. Holy cow! Now let's see agricultural methods. That was pretty good. Let's go do new schools because I don't think we've done that one yet. So that'll be okay. Yeah. Look, oh my goodness. Five. Oh goodness gracious. Oh, Madagascar's on fire. I guess. Four months. Sixteen. So yeah, we definitely want to improve this. It's not going up. So we need to do research facilities. And we just did academic base, I think. Yeah. Free culture? Great! Uh, free people. Now, hmm. It's only 63. I'm going to save this humanist popularity because I want to keep increasing until we get this little boost here. I'm going to save this for last. So let's do the rights for a living. It's been decades since the emergence of the Central Siberian Republic and its successor state, the Republic of Tomsk. During these times, uh, or during those times, many workers and soldiers have been given their blood, sweat, and tears to defend and secure the ideals of democracy amid a Russia engulfed in chaos and civil war. Yet the governments of the past have been notably lax in honoring their services. The age of retirement remains high and the pensions low. Not many live to retire, and when they do, the rewards of doing so are disappointing, which doesn't sound very good. The humanist government plans to correct this problem. They will lower their retirement age, perhaps at a significant risk, and to allow older workers to retire and enjoy their lives in peace. The cabinet has also discussed a scheme to increase pension funds without affecting the younger workforce much. Those who serve democracy do not only serve, deserve honor, but the rights to outlive the remainder of their, times on, their time on this earth in peace and comfort. So we basically get more stability, we get more GDP costs, which doesn't matter at all, and we get more monthly, monthly poverty rate increases, which is not bad. Cool. So we got that one almost done. Let's go ahead and do both of these then. I want to do both 55 ones. Boom! That's going to be so nice. Oh, look at that. Just... Nothing but positive. I love it. I throughout this on this channel, I saved the this area of Siberia for last, just because I didn't really know much about the legacy of Siberia plan, and also I started with over the western, and I started all the way over here with uh, Soblin eventually, but now we're in the central part. So I guess my question is, in Russia, who do you think, or what nation do you think is the possibly the worst? one, at least for the people. Like, I mean, Delvanger's Brigade, I mean, that's gotta be pretty god darn awful down there. Uh, maybe the Brotherhood? I wanted to do, play as the Order of St. George, but they don't think, I don't think they have a focus tree. Yeah, they don't, which is disappointing. They'll get it eventually, though. I'm not too worried about it, but, like, the Aryan Brotherhood? Like, is it Aryan Brotherhood do you think is the worst? Do you think that Delvanger's Brigade's pretty not great? Oh, look at that guy. Look at that beard. Man, that's, that's a bit too much for me, at least. But, Oh, the Amelon? Oh, I gotta play as Amelon sometime, too. But, what do you think in Russia would be the absolute worst-case scenario? Maybe Irkutsk, depending on how, like, authoritarian Yagoda is? Maybe, because he's an authoritarian socialist. Over here, as well as Vodol Shilov. But who do you think is the worst warlord in Russia, in terms for the people? What are the rights for living for now? Let me know your comments below, because I want to know, or consider... Who I might play as next when I play Russia, but safely from progress, or safety from progress. Since its inception, Tomsk has been a primary hub for the scientists and educational base of the old Union. By some miracle, the Republic contained within its borders a plurality, if not an outright majority, of skilled scientific workers currently living in warlord Russia. Thus, the path of progress and survival of the city depended on the harmonious cooperation between the two things that could not have been more different than one another, art and science. Though the city of Novosibirsk in the south retains the majority of Siberia's plans gains, Tomsk's scientific base might provide a way to counteract and resist that. The government is tends to start slow. Previously, it had established primary schooling and invested heavily in education. It is now time for us to look to the higher ends of learning. More teachers for more universities with little tuition fees should help us overcome the rebellious mutineers in the south, but also strengthen our scientific base. We get a lot more stability. Wow. Political power. I am not of the person of the mind right now to maybe... Oh, wait. Propose Central Siberian expansion. Ooh, we'll propose expanded territories in Central Russia, or Siberia. Yeah. 
Uh, let's see if we can close this one, because we can't form that yet. Oh, we can... Ooh. We can always raid against them. Oh, we can do Camarovo? Camarovo? Oh, hello. I forgot. I just want to beat you up. 3 to 5. Ooh, that's not good. Oh, ooh, boy. They got even more divisions now. 3 to 5. Uh, I'm going to risk it with these guys down here, probably, then. Cool. And let's go ahead and do... Uh, the right one. Oh, proposed war plans de antes. Oh, I can go to war with it almost immediately. Oh, we might want... Ooh, who do I go to war with? Siberian Black Army might be... Oh, hold on. Hold on. Who's the weakest one here first? Oh, uh, yeah. These guys, definitely. We're going to go to war with Krasnoyarsk. Or however you pronounce it. For 21 days. In 21 days. So, let's do this first. Let's get their stuff first. And then have a good time with them. 17, not bad. Resource extraction, production quotas. Meh. Yeah, actually, you know what? It decreases by one. I'm going to do this one. Just because we're going to get even more stability. So, that's fine with me. We are still at 31.4. Not bad. That's quite a bit ahead of everyone else. Our 30 obviously isn't very good, but that's okay. Let's keep improving our guns. I love AK-47s. Oh my goodness. One of my favorite rifles of all time. I love it, love it, love it, love it. Love them so much. Hmm. Let's see. And are we ready to go? We're in a prime minister. I don't think I've seen this one before. The drums beat heavy. I don't think I've seen this guy. Mr. K. Cool. Let's go ahead. And please give it up, give it up, give it up, give it up. Come on. They refuse tribute. Great. And Kaya elected Prime Minister of Japan. Cool. And then, you know what? We're going to go ahead and probably do this as well. Three, two, one. The battle won't last forever. Operation Korai. In front of the assembled generals and commanders, a blackboard has been installed, upon which the words Operation Korai had been written. An invasion to recapture Krasnoyarsk from former Central Siberian Republic Colonel Andriyev and his acolytes. Shapshnikov detailed the opposition as well as strategic concerns for the invasion. The mutineers had chosen their location well. Upon their betrayal of the General Krylov, the rogue military units had seized the city of Krasnoyarsk on the Yen Yenisei River. Capturing the city would have been a deadly proposition for the following CSR, forcing an attack upon both sides of the mighty river. The mutineers' hijacking of heavy guns meant to rout the Arnicus had ensured that their position was all but unassailable, forcing Krylov to retreat in disgrace. The modern Republican army would far much it would be a far better match for Krasnoyarsk, yet Kasha remained of the utmost importance. After giving his presentation and listening to subsequent j discussions, Shapshinikov's thoughts went to Andri. Personal disdain had no place in a commanding officer's mind. The Marshal of the Republic, however, hated Andri and his mutineer. Not only had they cost the Republic dearly in blood and treasure, their betrayal had done much to send Krylov into a downward spiral. Not too long after his old friend had declared himself a king and began his, his mad reign, Shapshinikov knew that he, uh, as long as he and his men kept their calm, the rogue province would be captured. Only then would justice against the traitors take place. Good. And have we won yet? Well, we're, we're, we're doing a pretty good job. Pretty good job. Oh, a mur, huh? Trans Baikal. Come on, guys. You got this. Oh, it's lagging. I don't know what to Ah, there we go. Yes, I told you. Great. Successful. Great. We got treasure, my friends. Treasure, treasure, treasure. I tried to, wait, wait. Hmm. Shapshnikov. I wanted you for my tanks later on. I'm going to do this field marshal instead. And give an upgrade. Do you have an, are you an infantry leader yet? No, you're not. That is sad. That's okay. With a wide front like this over here, I'm not too worried about this, especially since we have our motorized, so... so we can just move straight on in. I can't wait. Can't wait. We can do well, my friends. It's time to do best. Treasure! We've already read this, so... Oh, my God! I love treasure! Oh, yeah. That's nice. Ask for support, lower house. Oh, we decrease our authority? You know what? Screw it. I... You know what? We have no authority. Does that, does that really hurt us? It might hurt us later on, actually. It might actually... Hello. Hello. That might actually hurt us a lot later if we don't have enough authority, but I don't really know. Reunification of Russia, of course. Um, we got less than two weeks. Get prepared, everyone. Safety from progress. Great. We got more political power and stability. Wow. Create the All-Russian University Association. The scientific base of Russia is sparse. Amid all the chaos and civil strife, not many can afford to learn the basics of scientific disciplines. Many young men who have gone on to grow into great scientists now languish in the waste wastelands of Russia, becoming scavengers and bandits instead. For the few who understood or undertook proper training and education, however, they received a value perhaps even higher than an industry or tank division. The Republic, with its idealism, cannot let go of the opportunity to gather what was left of the old Union scientists and fashion something new from it. A fresh idea drifted from the Parliament into the ears of the President, the creation of an All-Russian University uh, Association, which will oversee the gathering of scientists on the run from powers who are likely to abuse their abilities to cause more grief and violence on Russian soil. The government shall put them to work not to research new weapons of mass destruction, but to open a new day for the people. Now, this is interesting. 
Okay, so I'm hoping that actually Kamarovo loses to these guys. They're winning, and if they win... Oh, no, 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 don't lose, don't lose, come on, don't lose. I want the territory for myself. I want you to win so you can actually capitulate them so I don't have to kill them off later. Please? Oh, uh, let's loot. When in doubt, loot, 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 loot. Oh, oh, they cut these guys off down there. You know what? If I don't move in... Oh, they... Oh, man. Hold on. I want to see this. Oh, they cut... Oh, no, 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 no. Uh, two to four, three to five. Camera level actually has more divisions. They've lost double, though. Interesting. All right, well, screw it. We're going in anyways. We're going to go to war with these guys next. Uh, let's see. Can't do anything there. Uh... Blitz Krasnoyarsk. Activates mission. We don't need that. Uh, yeah, we're gonna go to war with Kamarovo next. Uh, we're we making any divisions. Please tell me. Oh, we're not. Oh my goodness, I am so bad. Uh, we're just gonna need more divisions. Not better divisions yet, which I'll make better divisions. I promise you that. We got enough political power here that I'm gonna do something else here. Let's see. Production quotas. Discontent goes up a little high, which I don't want to do. Hmm. Resource extraction. We don't really need to do that either yet. We did just go to war, so that's why our stability is a little lower. Uh, which put in which research project? We don't need more of that. Ah, uh, you know what? I, I, I'm gonna do this one. We could use that army XP right now, actually. Because I need to edit my divisions. Railway junction captured! Crashing through the forested mountains surrounding the city, our men have overrun the city of Krasnoyarsk. And with it, we have taken the widely discussed Krasnoyarsk Railway Junction. The tall and mighty station building stretched across the urban space and dominated our soldiers' view. It was a logistical fortress stuffed with bulky metal trains resting on the platforms. With the crucial junction of the Trans-Siberian Railway now under our control, we can now more vastly or improve our logistical abilities in performing the Herlicu Herculean task of reuniting Russia. Piling heaps of ammo, caches, and supply crates under the trains, we can deliver these resources to the frontiers far more effectively, as well as increase the speed in which communications can be delivered. Our grasp over Krasnoyarsk Railway Junction will stretch our influence across Siberia, and is a step towards extending our power to reunite Russia under our watch. A boon to be sure. Cool. Alright, so now we divided ourselves up. Actually, did we get all, did we get all of it? Nice! Alright, my friends, we have to get ready to go to war with... Oh, we can integrate them immediately? Yes, please. Uh, good, good, good. We're doing that as well. Let's see. Develop. Oh, we can develop industries. That doesn't look good. Purge the traders. Integrate them into our political system. Uh, I've never done this before. We might as well try. Has not activated a war plan. Eh, well, I guess we might as well do both of these then. We get civilian factory. We lose some stuff for now. We might as well do that since we can't do this yet. Shokola? Shokola. What's Shokola? People's Revolutionary Council. Oh, they're down there. Yeah, I'm not going to be able to kill those off. Those guys off. No, 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 no. That's a little bit too difficult. We're doing really well with that stuff down there, too. So, Can I raid? No, we already had the successful raid. We're trying to integrate them. We get another core. That'd be great. Awesome, awesome. Look at that. GDP. We went from 88 million to 360 million. Oh, my goodness. That is so nice, my friends. So nice. Oh, see, now we got to save a political power because humanist rule has gone down. Again, God dang it. Cool. And the rights of man. The foundation of a nation is its people, of the rights enum enumerated to them, and the duties of the nation expected of them in return. The state will provide the work, the shelter, the sustenance, and the small luxuries, the hallmarks of a dignified life that has been absent from Russia for, for nearly two decades. In return, the state will expect that every man will do his duty. The duty of bearing the standard of the humanist project through reason political participation, the duty to provide care and charity to the common citizen, and the duty to offer their lives in defense of the nation against its enemies. Ah, oh, good trade, I'd say. Probably a pretty good trade. Yeah, so right now we are at 31, oh, 11.3. Oh, we're even below December now. That is so not good. Hmm. District map. It's pretty much. Oh, actually, we got that one too. That's kind of cool. Voter turnout 49%. Hmm. But doing this should be okay. Um. Okay. Well, good luck with that, guys. Very, very much good luck. Good luck with the, uh... I guess I wanted to keep expanding east. Now, these guys might fight us. That's why we gotta make some new divisions. Actually, are we out of guns? No, we're actually doing really well on guns. Holy cow. We got good, we're good on anti-tank. We're doing okay on artillery, infantry equipment, motorized. Even support equipment's going up a little bit. So nice. But, let's go ahead and do, uh, consolidate humanist rule. And... Man, trying to get through one day takes quite a while. That's okay, though. 11.3. That's so tiny. Oh, my goodness. We're going to be successful. Oh, we're going to need more manpower, too. Research facilities. Let's see. We have this going up by 4, 2, 4, 
I'm sorry, I love industrial stuff a lot, so... Industrial equipment, I mean, I'm sorry, man. But five is just so good. Getting so much more output is, at least in my mind, super, super necessary. Because Nason, we saw this yesterday, our gun takes over control of the Levant. The Jews have found their Zion, but at what cost? The trial of the Krasnodar's clique. Cool. Because then we can get, we can get just better stuff here. Even though industrial expertise is okay. The power tools are really what I want, though. This is, this is much better to do. But anyways, the trial of them. The trials were held in front of the limited crowd. The Noble Sibirsk and Altai Federation were seen in Tomsk as the great betrayers of the CSR. The mutineers of Krasnoyarsk were the Republic's undertakers. To avoid heckling crowds, the, police, the capital's police held a close watch on the spectators as the trials, treason trials were underway. Andriev and his accomplices defended their actions by declaring the central government had lost the people's support. After being routed by anarchist rebels, the thought of regrouping for another attempt to subdue the desperate population broke in the soldiers' morale. Their active rebellion against General Krylov had been meant to save the Krasnoyarsk and Eastern territories from further bloodshed. Unfortunately for the mutineers, intercepted transmissions and others that predated the mutiny had been saved by the fleeing CSR soldiers and brought back to Tomsk. There, Andriev's duplicity had revealed itself. The coup had been a long plan and organized from the top down. Ambitious military officers had lied to their men about Krylov's intentions. Once Krynarsk, Krasnoyarsk had been captured, a junta had been favored or ruled the fallen province, depriving the people of their freedoms. For this treason against the Republic and her people, the judge sentenced the mutinese leaders to long prison sentences. Never again would armed men impose their dictates upon the population and ignoble fate for ignoble men. Slightly decreased point time and get some more stability that we don't really need, but that's okay. Let's do progress from safety. The CSRs has become somewhat of a model for the humanists, despite the flaws in its democracy and weakness to external threats. For a time, a region in Russia had been free of the chaos that had overwhelmed other parts of the Union and had not succumbed to the desire of power as had the states of the West and East. However, the dream's violent end had mangled its legacy from a miracle to a nightmare. The association realizes this, but admiration and criticism do not clash. They merge and mix into a greater appreciation for the object of him. Thus, a model is born. The people deserve to feel safe with a home, a job, and a city rate of pay. From this base, they shall go far in defense of the Republic that they had given them and these and more. Under the humanists, the Republic shall take a bold new step into the future to finally exceed and surpass its predecessor. We lose some construction speed for more output. Eh, you know, you win some, you lose some. That's kind of okay. And we'll get this as a court soon to get a little bit more manpower. I keep going back to this. Wait, wait hold on. We lost popularity. What? What? Oh, oh, we got Krasnoyarsk. That's right. That's why. That is not good. Mmm, modernists. Oh, my goodness. Turn out 32%. Hmm. <sighs> Weekly gun training. The militia trained early, and Andre had set his alarm accordingly. In the frigid early morning darkness, he pulled on his Telo Greika jacket, pausing for a quick second before the door to brace himself before setting out at a jog towards the training grounds. He thought he'd be early. He wasn't. At the grounds, almost 20 men, the Grog Grognards from the old army, no longer in active service but still employed to train the new citizens' militias, were running laps in the snow, their boots crunching in unison. Andre's jog turned into a run as he rushed to the fall, to fall in formation, joining the growing column snaking through the grounds. The militia set up their targets with the sunrise before stumbling on the firing line under the watchful eye of the old soldiers. Andre cocked his Molson Nagant and zeroed in on a sandbag dummy, before squeezing the trigger once, twice, and then in a third time. The first shot went wide, the second landed off target, and the third barely scratched the widest circle of the target. A grizzled soldier shook his head and started to walk towards Andre. Expecting a raised fist, Andre's body tensed, and the fourth shot struck the target next to his own. The blow never came. Boy! The soldier growled as he adjusted the sights on Andre's rifle. If you want to hit anything, you need to stop worrying about your comrades and more about the enemy. Shoulder to shoulder, the humanist army takes form. Cool. I just, I just want to go to war. I want to go to war. I want to go to war. Come on. Krasnoyarsk. I keep pronouncing that wrong, probably. Uh, can we... War? War? We're humanists. We want to spread war totally, the peaceful things, to other people. Yes. That's what we want to do. Well, at least we get greatly increases humanist salon. You know, I'm kind of glad I waited. This is exactly what I was planning that would happen. That we would not keep our advantage in popularity. It's only 63. we got some time before the next election. But... I'm glad I waited so we get another boost to our popularity later on. 25, 26, 28, 26. So that's not terrible. How much political power do you get? 1.17? Eh, it's okay. And I got 25. Oh my goodness. Please keep going. I'm not even processing any anything in the background on my computer. So it's just naturally just a little slow. Mmm, big sadness. Uh, let's see. Do we get... Okay, so yeah, because we get... Minus 32. It'll go down to 27, which is still not bad. But we do get a boost to IC, so that's not bad. Not bad, 0.09. Cool. And the road to Norsk. 
Cool. In the days of the Central Siberian Republic, Tomsk and Novosibirsk were not alone in being the chief recipients of the Siberian plan. In the north, coasting the Arctic Seas, is the city of Norilsk, a lone beacon of human habitation amid an inhospitable climate. During the collapse of the Union, the city continued as humanity's main outpost in the north before the fall of the CSR made any contact with it, Norilsk impossible or unfeasible. The city holds the last important part of the Siberian plan, which which Tomsk may finally match Novosibirsk in the south. The cabinet proposed a plan for, to the president, an ex expedition to the far north. There might be survivors yet in the cold waters of the Arctic, asking or eking out a bare bones and harsh life in the middle of the wastelands. We shall rescue them, and in turn, they shall aid us in revitalizing the city. Given time, even Novosibirsk will not stand against Tomsk. Good. And now, we're, we're, we'll save up political power to do this, but I'm really saving up political power so we can get even more, like, consolidating our humanist rule, because that'll be good. Ooh, and now we are our... Well, 27.3 is still not bad. Vassalard's popularity is still pretty low. Modernists, I, I'm tired of modernists, I guess. But you know what? Our Solon Authority has gone up a little bit more, which is kind of nice. Took some away probably from, from the Decembrists and modernists. 16.9, though. That still ain't great. That just still ain't great. Oh, do this. 45%. That's, that's not bad. 46.5, of course. And then we have and 45% down there. Can I click on anything here? Just I just want to make sure Novosibirsk, Kamarovo, we need to take them out too, but... Yeah, I just want to make sure that, we, that there's nothing actually we can do there. So, gotta wait for that. Re reunification of Russia. We gotta wait. I wonder how long we have to wait for this, though. What do you mean by recently? How recent do you mean? Like a month? Six months? A year? That's a good question to ask, actually. Actually, production quotas. Yeah, I probably want to lower discontent just because just we can. You know, I think about the workers, you know. If I was a worker, I wouldn't want to have a terrible time. Uh, infantry weapons. Actually, that might be worth doing as well. Iberia announces the creation of the Iberian Council. Never heard of that before. What? Odds are they probably won't reform correctly, though. Mm. Just want to wait for this stuff. I, kind of, I said I do want to wait, but maybe getting a bonus to research. It's only minus 0.1 a day. That's not bad. I don't mind doing that, then. Lure to Nova Norilsk. And we should do a free people. And glad I waited for this. And workers' discontent goes down by three. And we get some political power. The Union and the Old Republic treat the people with the same distrust as to their art. With distrust and wariness to political elements. Secret police prowl the streets and listen to the conversations and the daily lives of citizens, proactively seeking to defend the ideology of the state, rather than the liberties of the people. To the credit, the transitional government had lessened, if not outright abolished, the rule of domestic intelligence within the city of Tomsk. Only vestiges remain of the old system. Uh, but the fear had stayed behind, preventing the people from enjoying the political liberties they ought to have. The average citizen should not be only technically free. Freedom of speech and opinion are the blood and veins of a functioning democracy. Whatever secret police institutions that have been spared the wrath of Pasternak's government, the cabinet shall swipe away. The government has determined that now is the moment of action, not speech. Good. A third of a billion dollars in GDP. A little bit of lag. It is fine. Whatever, whatever. And now we probably get one point. 3-2! Okay, that's a little higher, even though I already chose doing this, because I wanted a little bit more bonus to research. We only have two research slots for now, which we'll get more later on. Don't get me wrong. Oh, now we can do that. God dang it. Ask for human support. We decrease our authority. Ooh. Increases support. You know what? If we can do this now, I don't want to lower my authorities anymore. But we need we need as much support as possible, so it doesn't really matter. Uh, what was I saying? I was saying something. I can't remember now. I, got, I gotta stop interrupting my own self. Oof. Let's see over here. Oh, so we can do it right now. Okay, As it, so we gotta wait for these people to actually have one monies. Also, Western Siberian People's Republic. West Siberian... West Siberian. West Siberian. Presidium. Um, so, oh, the, oh, they're right there. Toyman. Uh, how strong... Oh, the five divisions. Uh, ooh, they might have... I, actually, we can see. We can read them. Oh, ooh, that actually might be kind of difficult. They have two divisions, two... I mean, we're not like... God tier? We got actually hold on. Well, we're not doing bad. I'm gonna throw on at least one of these. Uh how many would that cost? We have enough for that. Oh, do we have enough for this? Yes we do. If I threw in artillery as well, we would actually be minus artillery. I'm gonna do that immediately. And for you guys, if I threw on Ooh, APCs would be nice. How much motorized do we have? I don't imagine we that we have a lot. Yeah. If we did that, we'd still be okay. I'll be okay for now. Ooh, we could... Five. We have six divisions. They only have five against these guys. And we've made ourselves just a little bit stronger. Just a little bit. And they probably won't have enough divisions over here for too long. Ooh, I'm, I'm thinking... We gotta try it. I want more treasure. If we can get more treasure, that'd be so good. So good. Oh. <sighs> 
Hopefully we can do well. Hope you're enjoying the campaign, because I, I love playing TNO. I'll be honest. Like, it's one of my... It's turned into one of my favorite mods. Oh, Black League. How, how strong is the Black League? Yeah, this has definitely turned into one of my favorite mods. Yeah, we're going to go over to war with them first. Uh, I don't know. I, I, I've said this before in other episodes of this campaign, probably. And in the future as well. And other times when I'm playing as different nations, but... We got to do that. Oh, well, look at that. Black League. Uh, yeah. Just, I don't know. I love the story-based stuff of this campaign. Or the, the the mod. I love it so much. I love stories. Stories are great. Oh, and there goes Mr. Hitler. You get a day to remember. Well, we've seen that so many times that Hitler dies in every campaign somehow. Well, I mean, maybe not somehow. He always ends up dying. Initiate raid. A free people? Yes, we are. Oh, and we got more popularity. Thank goodness. And for the Commonwealth, we need... Oh, okay. So we just have to kill everyone now. Okay, so that's not bad. We get a lot more political power, which is actually pretty good for us, then. Initiate raid. Three, two, go ahead. Come on. Pay tribute. Pay tribute. Okay, they pay tribute. Great. Awesome. So can I beat up other people? I want to beat up people, please. We gotta wait for this. We got a few days left, about a week. Uh, now we get two, almost two and a half political power a day. God dang. If that's the case... I'm going to go ahead and do, invest in other stuff right now. Ooh, there's quite a bit of lag. Ooh, is Germany falling apart? They might be now. Ooh, wow, this is a lot of lag. This is almost like Kaiserreich level of lag. Eh, yeah, okay. I, I figured that would happen. Ah. Uh, so let's just don't let Hadrich win. He shouldn't be able to win, but we'll see what happens. Um, You know what? I want to be nice to my workers if possible. Ah, the Germans of War. Go if you want to read that by Mr. Schmittler. So it begins. I'm going to do this, but then I'm going to increase... Well, we I'll decrease stuff later. Oh, we can go to war almost now. Okay. Novo Sibirsk, Kamarobo, oh, we're doing Kamarobo next. That'll be good. Proposed war plan, Kamarobo, let's see, yes, right there. Cool, Operation Oskolok. Field Marshal Shapshnikov's day had been long. The night would be longer still, occupied as he was going to put the fishing touches to Operation Oskolok. The plan, recapture of Kamarobo. The facts of the matter... Facts and the matter of other operations were simple. Former General of the Central Soviet Republic, Nikolai Krylov, had seceded with several of the Republic's best infantry and mechanized divisions. The rich industrial town of Kemerovo and its coal basin had no doubt helped the separatists field several more regiments of well-equipped troops. There were a few good angle of attacks through the woods between the staging, points, staging point Yurga and the enemy, enemy capital of Kemerovo. Shapshnikov, I'm sorry I can't speak, hoped they would not boil down into a war of attrition. Rumors from the south were troubling. Shapshnikov had served with Nikolai Krylov, Knew him very well. The separatist leader had been a good officer. Now, word on the word street was that the commander had gone mad. Claimed himself to be the heir of Rurak, the ancient king of Rus. Shapshnikov had no idea if the rumors were true. No idea if his old friend had completely lost it after failing to defeat the anarchists in the east. All of the marshal knew was that for the Republic to live, Kamarovo's industrial assets had to be retaken. Some of Shapshnikov's junior staff had expressed a mocking attitude toward the mad king and his lackeys. The marshal had been quick to remind his officers not to underestimate any enemy. Crazy or not, General Krylov was a smart and charismatic leader. His subjects would fight to the better, bitter end to defend their new state. The Republican marshal hoped that Operation Oskolok would not trigger a long and bitter bloodshed between Tomsk and its former province. We strike southeast. Twelve, nice. Because after, we, now that we've done this, I'm just going to go ahead and just go uh, kind of crazy with this stuff too, as well. I mean, we're going to go crazy with the Siberian plant. That's that's what I was trying to say. Words are hard. Okay, twenty-eight point five. That's not good. Eight point five. Oh my goodness. Uh, open district. We're looking a. Little, Actually, we're looking a little better here in Tomsk, actually. Because we got this tile, too. This was blue earlier, so that's not bad. Even down here, it's not looking too bad, either. Even though our support's probably going to go down with us capturing them. Oh, that's not good. Chaos and Ausland, a Reich divided. A Reich divided cannot stand. Oh, yeah, we need more political power. But with two and a half a day, that's not bad. Order to stop bargaining declare war on the French state. Cool, the Reich's frontier can no longer hold. So be it. We're ready to go. I mean, we're ready to blaze a trail down here. And a little bit more lag. Oh my goodness, this is quite a bit of lag. Holy cow. Uh, when, when can we go to war? We're going to get some loot as well. That'd be great. Hans Spido assumes them. Brittany declared war in French state. The Franco Burgundian War. Our shadow looms over France. We got less than two weeks, which is fine. Hey, England has fallen into turmoil. I love it when that happens. Expansion in Africa. Cool. Awesome. And pro humanist campaign. The war is still uprising. The Nazi Empire continues to crumble. Then Civil War begins. Brothers, brother fight brother in the most uncivil of wars. Go and do that immediately. Cool. Well, so we'll get more popularity soon too, which would be great. Hidden heroes, great minds of a generation working from the dark. Now we're out of artillery, which is not great. 
But it is what it is. Formation of Africa Shield. We still got enough anti-tank equipment, which is nice. Enough guns, too, which is awesome, too. Uh, I just wish... Ugh, we need more artillery. The Serbs... Gamers rise up. Serbs rise up. Ah, the Jewish state. God, I want to play as a Jewish state so badly. I really do. I really, really do. Oh, we can do some of this. Workers? Uh, let's do workers. Yes. With how much we're investing into industrial equipment, they should... It's going up by pretty quickly. And during it's like always, oh, Cesar is Crimea. Cool. I love getting all this political power. And right now, 28%, 8.5 district map. Not pink enough. Or purple. Pink purple. Purplish. More, more purple than pink. Uh, so the world is just falling apart. After Germany falls apart, everyone falls apart. And the Rex Commissar at Novigan. South African War. One day. Uh, if you want to read this, go right ahead. The dominoes shall stop. And we shall go to war. Cool. Immediately move in. Move in if you can. Uh, you guys. Oh, I should have had my guys up there after you stand. That's okay. Okay, stop attacking. That's not good. Cool. Take the southern portions first so we can unify everyone up here. They actually have radar, huh? You go there and you're gonna do that. Kill that division off if you can. Oh, uh, they've only one division. Oh, they want to go. Oh, we cut them off. Nice. Cut them off. Um. There's one tile there. If they get in there, that's fine. We get into here, that's fine. Cool. If they want to abandon their city, that's okay. I want to kill this division off first, though. That's my main goal. Kill, kill them off in the south. That'll be fine. Anything else? Keep an eye on the campaign stuff. We could do stuff down here, but we're going to need some political power after we win the war, too, so. Oh, man, you're tired, aren't you? Uh, if you both want to go there, I mean, okay. Sure, why not? You know what? I'm going to do this. You guys are fast enough. I'm going to switch you around. I'm going to go to... So, so this division wants to move out. So be it. Because these motorized... they got to move fast. Kill that division off. You're doing a good job, guys. Just keep it up. Because as soon as they leave this tile, I'm going to move in there. Come on. 18 army XP still. Not bad. Not bad. 55 consumer goods. Uh, can't get more construction speed. Output would not be bad. We're going to lower construction speed. No. Capacity. Oh, there's construction speed. Yeah, I want more construction speed right now, actually. I think that'd be probably one of the better things, because right now we're 15. We're still building up. Actually, it'll be done then. Not bad. Uh, I want you to move. I want, actually, I want to just come right here. Kill them off if you can. It's, just, it's best to do that now. Hey, Bink. <laughs> cool. These guys are still taking their sweet time. Ah, there they go. Good. King of Caucasia? The man is the maddest of all. Wait, what? King? Hold on, this is the first time I've ever seen this. Who are you? Josias? Oh, and if you want to read the biography, go right ahead. Holy cow. What? Memories of Tiflis III? Das Bergbauer Reich? Shipments to the Reich? A stratified... Oh my goodness, I've never seen this one before. That's actually cool. Did they become a kingdom? Oh, this mod is crazy. I love it. You guys do that, and I'm just going to go stroll right in. You know what? You keep them there. Keep them, because these guys move so fast. And we got the basin captured. Our men spill over the ruins of the Kuznetsk basin, battling through the remains of the enemy fortifications and pockets of wounded squadrons. With gunfire still crackling in the distance, the embers of burning structures clawed at the sky with roaring flames. Wind rushed through the Kuznetsk depression, carrying with it the black and shredded stench of coal reserves now under our control. With such rich natural resources under our administration, we have access to generate immense amounts of energy. The power produced by excavated coal reserves can promptly increase our manufacturing capabilities, as well as provide energy to the many citizens living within our territory. A highly valuable and sought-after location in central Siberia, this prized asset under our jurisdiction must be put to use as soon as possible so we may reap the benefits of the coal mines before any of our enemies manage to snatch it from us themselves. We have won a great victory today. Look at that. Resource efficiency gain and less consumer goods factories. Oh my gosh. This, this is this is nuts. I'm not going to lie. This is, this is definitely nuts. Um, help them out here. Uh, they should capitulate though. Do they not have a capital? I mean... Yeah, they really shouldn't have a capital. Uh, I mean, we're definitely struggling here a little bit. So... Hmm. Oh god, we... Had, Gotta kill them all off. Just keep the pressure up on them. That's all we really need to do. They have four divisions in there? Holy cow. That's quite a bit. Uh, hold for now since you're not doing great. I don't want you to lose that battle. That's the main thing. I'm going to have you guys go right there then. Keep them in place. you got to win. They're out of supply. Oh boy, I see what they're doing. I see what they're doing. Cut them off down here. Actually, you know what? You come down here and cut them off. You make them hold for now. Do not let them link up with anyone else. 
Oh, mass production, cool. Nothing here yet, that's good. Prepare for war. Nah. That's okay stuff. Go get more stability, but nah. So, more industry, please. We could do that. Resource efficiency gain. Uh, I'm gonna ignore that for now, maybe. Let's go to horizontal industrial organization, too. That'd be good. Just keep an eye on these guys down here. Because over here, we can kill these guys off. Uh, we're slowly losing winning, sort of. Um, go and defend better. There you go. That's all you really needed. Now, can you win up here? That'd be great if you could. Yes, yes, yes. Ah, uh, AK-47s. God, I... Mm, love them. I love them too much, maybe. Eh, not really. I love them, love them, love them, love them. If it's true, weapon improvement 5. Yes, more soft attack. Hit them even harder. Oh, they're attacking us. Launch of the San Marco A. That's kind of cool. Uh, if that's the case, you guys go ahead and beat them up. If we can take that tile, they'll probably lose the war, so that'd be fine with me. Uh, you guys go right there and attack them there. Come on, kill them off before they can do anything. At least attack them. Don't let them move. Do not let them move. Hey, we want right there. Take that. And go right there. God, using motorized is such a good idea. Oh, But APCs. I need APCs. APCs are just too good to not use. Get down there. Get down there. You're going to help support the attack. Because we're taking probably quite a few casualties. We've lost about 6,000. That's quite a bit. We've got off 2,400, though. It's not bad. Get in there. Get in there. Get in there. Nice. Serbia. Oh, we got the last tile there. Great. Now they have no capital. Hey, we won the war, my friends! We have won the war! Nova Sibirsk is probably going to be a, quite a difficult nation to take out. Let's go ahead and integrate them. That'd be great. We can pair raid as well. Oh, how about these? Oh, we're getting raid against these guys? Oh, who is this? Orochia. Legacy of the Siberian plan. Oh. Oh, wait, look at that. They have plus 27%, plus 27% consumer goods. Oh, that looks so bad. R religious divide? Christian socialism? Okay, then. Wow, they are wild over there. That looks crazy. Nothing else we can do here. Twenty. Hey, we're the most popular now. Twenty-eight point six compared to these guys, and forty-one point seven. Holy cow! Eh, still looking pretty much the same. Forty-five percent. Great. Forty-six point five. Awesome. Uh, anything else? Like, can we do anything like? Oh, there we are. Reintegrate the crown lands. Yes. And then reopen the coal mines. Yes. Yes. We can't do much down here, but that's fine. So next up, our army's done very, very well. I mean, obviously, we've been beaten up quite a bit, but it is what it is. Are you learning anything? No. Prudnikov. What have you learned, Mr. Smoker? 600 million, though. That's not bad. We went from 88 million to 360 million to 600 or 0.6 billion in terms of GDP, my friends. This is turning out to not be too bad. Actually, you know what? I'm going to do this as well. There we go. There we go. Hey, Bink! My cat's coming in. Binky, hello there. Uh, where's the tank general? He's a field marshal, that's right. Yeah, he's got unyielding defender. He's got panzer leader, which we're going to need later on. I could use more artillery, but that's okay. Oh, Argentina. Argentina? No. Algeria's doing stuff. Panzer expert. Uh, this would be good for everyone, but I'm just going to go ahead. Oh, you don't get the effects of him when he's a general, so you don't get the plus one attack, I think. Do, does he? Because right now he's an unyielding defender. Hold on, so let's look at, look, this is going to be a, a little event here. So, if we do this, he's supposed to get one plus one attack. Does he get, plus still get one, does he get plus one attack if he becomes, if we do this? Yes, he does. That's, that's all worth doing. The Algerian War, very cool. Good job, guys. Alright, so, let's see. Mines, nice, nice, nice. Uh, how, actually, do we see how many divisions they have? Oh, yeah, let's do it. Christian socialism, what do you mean? You bunch of crazies. So, oh, we went down. We went from 2.47 to 2.17 because we're trying to integrate more people. Hey, Bink. Hey, Bink. Cool. Let me raid. I want to raid and have a good time. Oh, house elections. Oh, boy. Lower house. So, December's got two. Minus got one. Bastillard's got minus three. Okay. You know, we didn't lose any, which is not great, but you know what? We could have lost some. We could have. We didn't gain anything, but, you know, that's okay. Happens. So, okay, 25.5, okay. So 27, 27, 28, 23. That is dangerously close to us. Dangerously close. 40% for the Decembrists, which is not ideal. Oh, boy. Hmm. 49%, 32% still. Oh, Himmler has been victorious. Lots of freedom shine most brightly when it emerges from the darkness. But at least we still have the most popularity, even though our authority is pretty goddamn awful. 
Oh, we can't do this because we don't have enough political power? No. Ruling Solana is... Oh, no, 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 no. That's not good. We need more authority. Um, how do I do that? Well, we gotta get do the other one first, probably. Greatly increases lower house support. Yeah, we're gonna consolidate humanist rule then to get some more authority, so then we can get some more house support. Mm, that's not good. Oh, let's get on Shirley too, though. Even though it's okay, go ahead and raid. We gotta do that. We gotta raid, raid, raid. They refuse tribute, so be it. Uh, yeah, I have a good feeling we're gonna win. And, wow, we've killed off that pretty nicely. Food for the hungry, great. Look at that, beautiful. But now we can't raid for now, which kinda sucks. Yeah, it kinda sucks. That's okay, though. Hopefully we get some political power from the actions we just took. Food for the hungry. At long last, every, everyone finally has food for the night. And we need no longer work on empty bellies and broken hearts. Living off half rations for months has taught us all temperance and composure, but not at our mind in a silent icy hysteria. Now we have plenty of food for generations to come, and the people of Tom's can begin their tolls without hunger bothering them throughout their maddening tiresome days. Guess we're not going hungry tonight. Exactly what we need. Stability, war support, and more political power. Let's consolidate the rule so then we can ask for more support in the lower house. Oh, man, that looks so bad. I mean, yeah, it's nice having this, but... It, this is getting dangerously close. I don't like this. Yeah, we lost a little bit more support in the House of Representatives. We don't have quite three... Three full lines? Dissolving the Principality. Oh, boy. The loss of Kimarovo and his surroundings has been one of the final nails on the CSR. When General Krylov had gone mad and emerged as a self-styled Iraq II, the, the industrial assets of Kimarovo region, as well as its vast coal mines, had slipped from Tom's grasp. Recapturing the region with much dis diminished Republican army would have been the height of folly. Some of the CSR's best troops had gone east with Krylov, and those men had not left for Krasnoyarsk as soon formed the core of Krylov's new royal army. Now the region has been liberated. Even as the Republic soldiers enter the streets of the enemy capital, our bureaucrats are already at work implementing Shapshnikov's post-war ideas. Every captured industrial complex has seen its damaged assets and its potential outputs added to the tally. All this information will be put to good use for future economic planning. Equally important in the tallying are captured soldiers and surrendering garrisons. It is hoped that many of the men are not ide very ideological, and this can be reintegrated into our army. These elements of questionable loyalty will be placed in front of line duty, allowing them to keep their jobs while expanding their military capacity. All this will take time. Trials for local officials and military commanders who join in Krylov's mutiny will be a complicated affair and expose deep wounds left by the fall of the CSR. With malice towards none, we must set to work tying back together the fate of Kimrovo's residents to the fate of our great republic. Let's get to work. Ooh, 41, so that's a, that's a lot of support for them down there. Yeah, we gotta get this too. I want to at least get this one, maybe, before we're done. Oh, the fate of the Mad King. Well, let's do this one and maybe we'll call it an episode. After a triumph of the so-called Principality of Kemerovo, our men have captured the Mad King Rook II, formerly General Krylov of the CSR. The poor unfortunate has returned to Tomsk not as a conquering hero, but as a prisoner of war, his fate uncertain. For many in the capital, Krylov deserves the fate of every captured separatist. After a trial to establish his degree of guilt, Krylov shall serve a long sentence in prison where the remnants of his fractured psyche are able to think about the blood he shed in a hungry for power. Others, however, held a more nuanced perspective on the disgraced general. Krylov had battled depression long after or after the annihilation of the Soviet Union and the death of so many of its people. Sent east to fight for the CSR, his defeat by the anarchists and treachery of his officers in Krasnoyarsk had sent Krylov's mental health into a free final free fall. The faction pleading for clemency, led by Krylov's former friend Marshal Shapshnikov, have published an open letter requesting Krylov to be placed in a mental institution. There, the former Mad King might hopefully see his mental health improved and some of his megalomania removed. The debates about this issue have been fierce. Many who express sympathy with Krylov's plight might still decry the general's failures and argue that it is unknown if the general is truly mad or invented his Aurora persona to justify his secession. The people desire to know which way the president offices leans on the issue. Mental hospital. Must be tried for his crimes. <laughs> Mercy is not weakness. I want to go with that because we're humanists. You know, well, there might be some redemption for him. It is 1964, but I think I think it's probably it might be best just to do it like that. Just because, you know... Maybe he's just mentally insane. I don't know. Maybe he'll come back and bite us in the butt. Maybe he will. Maybe he won't. And I want to end this episode just going, just getting a little bit more human support. I want to at least do that because we decrease our authority. We should get enough by the other one. Oh, we lost this again. Are you kidding me? By point one. Are you? Oh, oh, we got Kimmerovo now too. They're thirty-nine percent here. Humanists, modernists. Oh my goodness. This by expanding ourselves. Oh, this is just oh, it's hurting me internally. Oh my goodness. But right now, let's see how many artillery pieces do we not have. We got, hopefully, enough. Make them 20 combat with. This will set us up for the long time future, which will be good. And motorized, I really don't want to hurt you guys, but I'm going to make you guys 14 combat with for more motorized stuff. Just make us a little bit stronger for now. Just a little bit stronger. Not too much stronger, but a little bit stronger. So we need to keep at least 25. I know this video's gone on long, but all these videos are probably going to be quite long just because it's TNO. We need a lot of time to process uh, just getting through days. So. Um, Field Marshal? 
Oh, did I choose a... Oh, you, you... Yeah, you did stuff there. Uh, Shapshnikov. Yeah, yeah. Field Marshal, uh, I'm gonna request you come back. There we go. And there we go. That's a little better. If you guys need to train, go ahead. We can, oh, it's always good to train when you need to. We can build new schools? Yeah. Uh, agricultural methods for some. And we integrate them. 7.6 becomes hopefully a little higher. 42,000. Nice. Very, very nice. 66. And then... Come on, just three days left after this. Three days. 100% stability. We're a very, very stable nation. I love it. And we'll do some of this off-screen, too. Well, no, we won't. We won't do that off-screen. There's no point to do that off-screen. What I'm talking about is... Oh, actually, we have here the basin. We're doing stuff off-screen. I'll just play maybe just a little bit off-screen just to see how far, like, forward we can push us a little bit more. Here we go. Cool. Well, but regardless, guys, hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, consider leaving a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you tomorrow as we shall expand the Central Siberian Republic further and crush enemies. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.